Now I will take the opportunity to invite our guest, Mr. Alok Kumar, the Director General of Training in the Ministry of Labor, and he is in charge of all ITIs. Now he also has the same problem that we have in engineering education. A lot of ITI teachers need to be trained in the modern ways of using modern technology in their skills. So they wish to use this mechanism to train the trainers. And he found out that MHRD was running this program, so he was keen to see it. He happens to be visiting Mumbai yesterday for some other meeting. I invited him here and he is here. And since he also deals with training of trainers, much the same thing that we all do, I thought it would be nice to have him share his ideas with us and his challenges in training. So, Mr. Alok Kumar, would you please come down? He's a very senior officer and additional secretary in the Ministry of Labor. I wish people like him come to Ministry of Human Resource Development so that we can combine our joint uh, ambitions and experiences. Thank you. Thank you, Alok. All yours. Very good morning to all of you. And I'm very happy to be here with you. Uh, let me give a brief background for understanding. In the Government of India, uh, I work in the Ministry of Labor and Employment. It has many wings. One of the wings is Directorate General of Employment and Training. Its name is Employment and Training. It's a very old organization. Uh, it, uh, so I had that organization uh, at the moment. I joined in February 2014 only. Before that, I was working in Government of UPS Principal Secretary in the Department of Vocational Education and Skill Development. So, uh, uh, this Directorate General has two wings, one you must, just to give a background. One wing is that uh, it, it oversees and supervises all the, all the industrial training institutes across the country. And at the moment we have around 10,000 ITIs, say around 2,500 are government and other 7,500 are private ITIs. And we have a, a, a seating capacity, that means a training capacity of about 15 lakh, that is 1.5 million. And we, we, turn, uh, we turn out around 8 to 9 lakh ITI pass outs every year. And the other wing, just to give and complete the perspective, is the employment. That is, we have a network of around 1,000 employment exchanges around the, across the country, which we are parallelly trying to uh, computerize and turn them as, in, uh, as a national career service. So for the youth of this country and for the people who are already working, uh, they, will be, they will be a user of this service, national career service, say to get to know what type of occupations are available, what are the prospects, what are the wages, what are their choices, where they can go for which type of training and after doing training they can they can post their CV and the other users will be like all all the employers in private and government they can they can come on and they, they, the job uh, virtual job fairs can be held. So it's a, a small background. So coming back to the ITI part of my job, uh, the the if you see in totality the uh, the ITIs were created to support the the manufacturing activity in country because to train the the shop floor worker uh, in different trades like like fitter electrician and or machinist and uh, so now there are also new new occupations new new streams coming in so uh, these uh, ITI workers they they are part of the hierarchy in the manufacturing like they, you have an engineer then you have a supervisor then you have a worker so the the quality at each level is important for for a for a very uh, say effective manufacturing productivity and quality and which is which is the objective of the whole say like one of the main objective of the indian economy that india should be a great manufacturing giant and a, a very big exporter of its goods so in that perspective we are in the process of revamping the uh, the, the the all syllabus of itis so we are in fact um, uh, partnering with uh, premier institutions like IITs. In fact, we are. Uh, I am here. I am going to have a sex next meeting with with uh, the HOD of the of the electrical engineering in IIT Mumbai, and request him that he should be the our core 
core resource person for revamping the syllabus of the ITI passouts in electrical trade. So that whatever whatever is the latest technology that is that is taught in in our ITIs and the worker who is uh, who uh, and the person who is passing out ITI, he he is aware and he can work on the latest technology. So that when when engineers go to the to the manufacturing facility, the worker is also up to date and he is trained. That is the whole endeavor. So now. This syllabus update is will be very dynamic, and it will be, it uh, it will also require uh, once the syllabus is updated, it will require the production of the of the the teaching material, the production of course material, and also the short term periodical training of my instructors in the ITIs. And uh, say for every every twenty to, uh, student, we have a norm of one one instructor. So for about fifteen lakh uh, the seats. In effect, we have we we need to have around seventy-five thousand instructors, and they are they they are they are working all across the country, and they are they, they are, so calling them for say training uh, training in the new syllabus is a challenge. Uh, it is it is very time taking, and there are not many instructors. So if they come to uh, distant places, uh, who will who will continue the classes in the ITIs? so we are now working on a project uh, for uh, using the distance learning technologies distance teaching technologies for the uh, training of trainers in in our industrial training institutes so that project has brought me here today and in fact we are working with hrd and we uh, our team had uh, they have already visited uh, the cent uh, nitter center in chandigarh uh, they have also visited isro this is my visit so to get a perspective and what type of what all technologies are uh, available and how best we can utilize our experts from industry and premier academic institutions to train the it instructors so this was also a demo for me which was rescheduled in your uh, in your today's program just to how to get me a feel to give me a feel how will this software will work and what all is the requirement for the infrastructure to roll out and let me share we have a very ambitious target of doing this first training for the iti all across the countries in uh, in 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 say mid from mid of june to july because our next session in iti is uh, uh, is going to start from august and our new syllabus is getting ready so we are running against the time and that why uh, we were so hard pressed to do this training uh, before the next session starts so that is why we are now going to use this distance learning distance distance teaching technology like you are you are participating in this the similarly uh, our master trainers our instructors and also uh, the the lessons which will give to the instructors will be given by the industry experts and the and the academy experts like the the eminent people in um, in iits and engineering colleges this is a short talk i wanted to give you and i am very happy to work with, with with professor patak and and his colleagues and i wish you all the best in this thank you very much